Okay, here we are at video number three. Uh, and for this one, um, you are going to trace the flower there. Um, we have already created a value scale, which measures uh, black and white and shades of gray, and a monochromatic scale, which is one color uh, plus its tint, which is adding white and its shades adding black. Um, so if you haven't seen that, how to do that, go to video two. So now what we're going to do is go in and we're going to trace out the details in this flower. In order to do that, um, what we did in the first video was we did layer, new layer, and then we created this line drawing layer. So if you haven't done that, you could just do that by going layer, new layer. And what that's going to do is give you a layer that will be on top of the uh, photograph. And so when you draw, it's not going to be on the photograph, it will be above it. So as you're drawing, you're going to want to start with just black for now. And if you want to change the color of that line later, you can. But because we're looking at um, a scale of color, uh, the black line will help um, make the transitions between colors stand out. So what we're going to do is come in and make, uh, get the paintbrush tool right here. And what I found is that number five works well, but you can change the size of your brush. You can see and there are different shapes of the brush. Uh, in this case, I have five and I have a hard round brush. I think that the hard brush is uh, better for this um, part of the assignment. But as we go for uh, in the future into your um, photograph tracing your your actual photograph, you can decide to explore these a little bit more. But for this one, we're just going to go number five, and then uh, click over here. And what you're going to want to do is simply zoom in on the flower. And then just start to trace. So by using the trackpad on your computer, you're going to just trace each individual shape. And you want to make them complete shapes because when you drop the color into it, you will then be able to have more control um, because each shape will be filled with its own color. Um, so if it's not broken up into individual shapes, the um, color will fill the entire piece. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to look carefully at each of the shapes and I'm going to just trace them. So and trace all of the details. Okay. And I didn't like that. So I'm going to go to the history menu and I'm going to take that out because I didn't like that one. Uh, and then I'll just go and do a better job of drawing that. So I'm going to just come up and go around. So I'm going to continue to trace this and I will fast forward it for you in the video so that you don't have to spend all your time watching me do this. So now once you have everything traced, you will be able to turn off your image and see if you've forgotten anything. So I noticed that I have forgotten that outer edge. So I'm going to zoom in and I just want to get that final line. And then uh, we will be ready to color. <laughs> 